And this is my brother right here. This is Tito Rivera, one of my best friends now for almost 20 years. And if you didn't know, Tito Rivera, that's actually Spanish for Bob Vila. <laughs> What's going on, guys? We are running wide open right here at Tennessee Technicians. Drew, Mike, and Tito just got back in from North Carolina doing a major French drain job. And right now, you're getting ready to see a project that my friend Debbie has been waiting months and months on. She's requested this custom deck build you're getting ready to see right behind me. And I couldn't be more excited to show you our first day's progress. Let me flip it around, and I'll show you all of this right now. So this small deck that you see right here to my left, Debbie just had this built. And now we are actually building a 19 foot by 26 foot wide deck that is going to be going up and adjoining right here, flush to the swimming pool. And today we've gotten all of our posts set. We've got all of them concreted in. And normally if you've seen any of our past deck builds, we prefer doing the six by six post. But as you can see here, this one already had the four by fours and Debbie wants this to match that one. So let's go around here real quick, showing you the layout of all of our frame posts. And right here, you'll notice all this digging where we've had to edge this wall off. That's because we are going to build a railroad tie retaining wall all the way around this right here where all this ground has been eroding. And at the base of it down here at the bottom, we're going to do one of our signature French drain lines. That way this water that's coming down this hill that you see right here behind me, as soon as it goes down this, it's gonna hit and go right around this pool and stop all of this erosion. And of course, all of that is going to be underneath our new deck build. You can see where we've gotten all of our frame posts now supported up so that all of our concrete sets overnight and we've got all of our posts level and ready to go to begin setting all of our boards tomorrow. Just like I'm always telling all of you, you never can tell what you're going to see us doing next. So stay tuned guys and once we get more progress made tomorrow, I'm going to show you every single bit of it. Man guys, I am sitting here just looking at this brand new deck build that the crew just finished up and to say that I'm blown away would be a severe understatement. My friend Debbie, she's already told me, Tanner, your team has far exceeded my husband and I's expectations for this deck build. And before I flip this camera around and show all this to you, I'm going to insert some before footage real quick and show you what this looked like just a few short months ago when I first came over here and took these measurements. Check this out. Nothing but a pool and plain grass. But what you're about to see right now, I hope you're sitting down because it just might knock you off your feet. But real fast, right here, Debbie had just had this constructed very, very recently. Matter of fact, it's only been a few short weeks ago. And notice the people that did this did a very good job, but they chose to build this with the four x four post. On any of our deck builds, we always prefer to go with the six by sixes, but Debbie wanted this deck that we constructed to match this over here to my left that I was just showing you. And we did exactly as she wanted. And I'm gonna take you guys on a full tour of it right now. So guys, if we head down this way, we're gonna go approximately 26 feet in length. And then we're gonna cut back that way, 19 feet. And that is what gives us our brand new 19 foot by 26 foot treated deck right here for my friend Debbie. And take a look right here to our left. Take a look at this custom bench that was tied into the framework of this deck build. I'm gonna step down over here to the left and show you exactly why we had to do that right now. Let me retract my last statement. We didn't have to do anything. We chose to go above and beyond, just like we always choose to go above and beyond. And do you think for one second that I charged a penny extra for all this extra work right here and extra material? If you think that I did, you're wrong because I keep my word. When Tanner Flowers gives you a price, baby, that's what Tanner Flowers stands on. And that's what you're gonna get. And take a look at this right now and let me share this awesomeness with you. Should be pretty clear to you there that we had a very steep embankment to deal with. And once we got over here and got this deck level with right there at the top of the pool, see how we've got that tied in right there? Once you got back over to here, look how high up we were into this ground line, which is right next to the fence right here, about 24 inches. So look what we did, guys. 
we tied in those framing posts that go all the way down through there. You can see them coming up. And we brought this over and we created this custom bench seating area with handrails all the way down that entire deck section. How freaking cool is that? And in reference to the steep embankment, there was a lot of erosion taking place right here before the start of this pool area. So what we had to do, guys, let me get on under here a little more so I can get out of this glare. What we had to do, guys, was come under here and build that retaining wall with these railroad ties And behind all of that, you'll see this backfield gravel. This is our French drain, guys, just like you see in all of our French drain projects underneath the crawl spaces. So we've got this retaining wall now going all the way around to the other side of this deck right here. And how you can see that we constructed that is these posts right here, these framing posts are our normal six by sixes and the railroad ties were put in place behind those. So all this ground is trying to push that. That is all concreted down in the ground, 24 inches. And once again, our French drain is running all the way down and all the way down through that yard right there. And this pipe that you see right here, we actually dug that up right up there in that embankment water was coming out that was tied off to a gutter around the corner there so we attached this pipe right here to that and drew is going to come back over here and connect that pipe to our french drain line with a t and continue that going out you won't see that anymore as well and what good is a deck without electricity you know you want to come out here and have all your best jams going on in the summertime when you're cooking out and got all your friends over so you already know baby check out those outlets one on that end one down there on that end, thanks to my father-in-law, William Mostyn, we got him a brand new dedicated circuit pull for this. We got the line buried. Before we got here, guys, all there was was a hot wire laid on top of the ground going all the way around this pool and just laid right over here. My father-in-law got all that buried, got all that brought up to code, and also we've got them, like I said, outlets on both corners of their new deck. I would also like to take a moment and talk about the tops of these posts going all the way around. Debbie had already purchased these lights over here. These are the solar lights and she's going to put them on each post going around. That was her plan from the very beginning. So just know that the reason we've got those left like they are right now is because Debbie is going to put those LED solar lights on here herself. Drew really did a great job leveling this yard out for Debbie. Any of my machine operating buddies knows how hard it is to do anything with dirt, especially when it's solid mud. And rest assured, that is all that we have had here to deal with in the past couple weeks at home in Cleveland, Tennessee. I told you it was something else, didn't I, guys? My name's Tanner Flowers. And you might be saying, but Tanner, you're the crawl space guy. But Tanner, aren't you the pond guy? But Tanner, I thought you were the wildlife guy. And the truth is, guys, when you want the best, you pick up that phone and you call me or visit us online at crawlspaceartist.com, pondartist.com, clevelandtnwildliferemoval.com, clevelandtnstumpgrinding.com, and be sure to subscribe over at youtube.com forward slash Tanner Flowers. Take as much time as you want, watch as many projects as you want to watch, and find out for yourself why so many people choose to do business with this guy that you're listening to right now. Wow. Great job, guys. I am blown away as always, man. And there's another project in the book, guys. Big shout out to the team. Tito, Drew, Mike, thank you all so much. I got more confidence in you guys than I got in anyone else that I know. Guys, stay tuned for more projects. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to my channel now. Drop us a like. Leave me a comment. You already know I do my best to answer each and every single comment left on this channel. And guys, you already know, I can't wait to talk to each and every single one of you inside that next video. Talk to you then, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.